Hey friends, had some recording issues. My voice is pretty quiet compared to the show's audio. You can still hear it, but just letting you know what to expect. It'll be fixed for next time. Welcome back friends with more Ruby Ice Queendom. This is episode 10, Mirror of Darkness. Last time, Ruby was on the ropes trying to get past Weiss to the Grim when Yang burst through on Bumblebee and then Blake attacked Weiss with a whole new look, the Mask of Adam. Looking cool as all heck. Honestly, looking a little bit like Raven as well. I don't know what kind of issues Yang will have to work through after this, but hey. Uh, just three episodes left though, but looking forward to the climax and re-watching it whenever it gets dubbed. But alright, full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps out the channel, and let's get started. <laughs> あ、<笑> ダブンここには、ワイスが遠ざけたいものや、整理ができていないものが集まってる。ナイトメアに逆らってでも戦う理由がなければ、この作戦は成り立たない。<笑><笑> ワイスの夢に入れませんか。ノープ。すでに4人もワイス君の夢に送り込んでいる。今は信じて待ちたまえ。今後共に戦うことになる仲間たちを。でも、ま、ハウ。ジョンク正しい。どちらも生き残れない
John. Season two. Oh man. Ruby? She's breathing heavy. Why is it that you can't get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of わたくしに何の恨みがあるのお前たち人間がファウナスをどれほど利用してきたか私がそうしたわけではありませんわたくしは別に全てのファウナスが憎いわけではお前が償う主任家の娘として私が知るブレイクはそのようなことを言う人
because of fear of losing them? And what would Negai Yang look like? Um, would it be about her relationship with Raven, or maybe her protect protectiveness of Ruby and her team? Because based on the way she reacted to Ozpin giving the okay for Blake to go Nega Blake, she Yang was expecting Shion and Ozpin to shoot down the plan. And while she eventually went along with it, the worst side of her might also try to protect others by having them do things her way and be overprotective. And then the only way she could be saved is by Blake professing her love to her. I don't know how that would work, but let me have this. And yeah, I always liked Yang and Blake's character design the most out of everybody everybody on this show, so I'd very much like to see Nega Yang as well. This episode had some really sweet moments though. Nora and Ren saying they do the same for each other that Blake did for Weiss. Pyrrha next to them undoubtedly thinking about doing the same thing for Jean and then doing it with Jean. I'm kidding. Uh, and then back to Blake. Yeah, what a brave and selfless thing to do and also a very well thought out plan. Nora and Ren becoming Nega Ren and Nega Nora probably wouldn't turn against each other so it's not forcing this conflict. Um, but yeah, Blake doing it turns these two Nightmare Grim against each other, making the worst part of them confront each other. It's like therapy, but with violence. And yeah, Blake looked so cool when she walked out of the house, though, just covered in flames. Looks terrifying. Really, really cool. Um, like, I thought Weiss looked cool, but Blake is just on another level. I did make a joke about her cutting off Weiss's arm, wondering what that would do to her in her real body. Uh, I would love to know, but I also wouldn't want it to happen, so... Uh, I guess we won't find out. Uh, two, just two more episodes left, though. S so sad. Uh, I'll be going back to posting Ruby Chibi at some point, and then that might last us till Volume 9, maybe? All right. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like. really helps with the channel. Thanks for sticking to the end. You're awesome. I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye, friends.